life goes on And so do we Just how we do it is no mystery Sometimes the answer can be hard to find That's something I will never be I'm always here for anything that you need Rain or shine, I'll be the one To share it all as life goes on We share it all as life goes on Weston's office. How's Tuesday at noon? Fine. Dr. Weston's office. How's Monday at four? Fine. Dr. Weston's office. Ferdinand Magellan, 1519. Now do the rest of your homework yourself, Miller. I'm calling your mama. Laverne, Laverne, I can't find a, uh, any E-D-L-E. Uh, Laverne, I need to see Dr. Weston. He's in with the patient right now, Dr. Bonham, but it shouldn't be too long. All right, Joey, no, wait, no, just wait, wait, a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hi, Ray. Hey, Harry, hey, hey. Joey, how do you think we make that board meeting last night? Yeah, well, sorry. I'm... Well, you know, we voted you head of the Miami Pediatric Association. You did? Yeah. Well, that's a great honor. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, I'll call you later. Okay, okay yeah, oh, right. whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? Oh. What's going on here? Are you trying to give her an SHOT? Uh -huh. <laughs> Dr. Weston's office. Now, I'm sorry, he's trying to chase down a patient with a needle. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Gotcha. Come on, Just honey. Hurt. Let's get in here and don't you worry your pretty little H-E-A-D. What's that? <laughs> Laverne, uh, you better alert emergency that we're on our way over. Why? What's the matter? I'm not sure, but you better get me uh, to a hospital very quick there. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, uh. Come on. Good, finally, please. I want to get out of here. Where's the doctor? I'm the doctor. You're the doctor. Teenage doctor. I'm Dr. Leonard. I'm a cardiologist. Oh, well, you'll have to forgive me. I never saw a cardiologist with a ponytail. <laughs> Dr. Weston... Yeah, and, and the thongs. Your thongs kind of threw me. I'm sorry. I was surfing. They beat me at the beach. Yeah, can I talk to somebody real, please? Uh, where's head of cardiology? Where's Dr. Morse? On vacation. Look, Dr. Weston, I don't blame you for being upset. I know this could be frightening. I am not frightened. I just overreacted. A little indigestion. Something I had for breakfast, that's all. This is not something you had for breakfast. Oh, how do you know? Were you there? No, you were hanging ten with the beeper on your trunks. <laughs> Come on, I gotta get out of here. I got an office full of kids over there. Dr. Weston, lie down. Now, regardless of my appearance, I happen to be a highly qualified physician. And as such, I'm... What is this, kelp? <laughs> anyway, Dr. Weston, <clears throat> you did not overreact. This is not indigestion. There is something wrong with your body. Now, you're going to stay in that bed till we find out what it is. Got it? Yes, sir. Fine. So, doctor, I... <clears throat> did I, uh... Did I have a heart attack? I don't think so. But we're not sure, so we're going to keep you here overnight for observation. Now, I left strict orders with the nurses that no one but your family come in here. I'm a-going through that door, mister, whether you like it or not. Maybe we can make just one exception. <clears throat> you need a new nurse at this door. Nobody but family should be allowed in here. <laughs> Dr. Leonard. Nurse Todd. Heard you shot the curl this morning. Yes, well, um, I'll look in on you a little later, doctor. <clears throat> now, I don't want you to worry about a thing. Dr. Gordon's going to take all your patients. I called your daughters. They'll be over soon. Carol was just a tad upset, but Barbara assures me she has a large back seat capable of accommodating someone in the fetal position. Uh, Laverne, 
stop, stop fussing here. I'm fine. I can't help it. I'm a trained nurse. And when I see pillows that need to be fluffed, I must fluff. Head up. <laughs> Head back. Fluff complete. <laughs> now you rest up, and I'll be back in about an hour. Uh. Hold on, hold on. Let's just settle down here a second. Laverne, oh, Laverne, thank God you were there. Your hand's wet. She's been sucking her thumb. Shut up, Barbara. We just saw Dr. Leonard, and he said they don't know much yet. What can oh we do? Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Carol Weston, I do not want you going in there and upsetting your daddy. Right. You're right, Laverne. Well, hi, Daddy. Carol, please, I'm fine. Of course you are. And you just look terrific. Doesn't he look terrific, Barbara? What is wrong with her? How are you feeling? What kind of a silly question is that? Such a silly old worried Barbie Barb. He's going to be home in no time, aren't you, Daddy? Something's very wrong here. <laughs> Did the doctor tell you something he didn't tell me? Forget about doctors. Let's just talk about how wonderful you look. Great, I'm dying. <laughs> I just can't do this. I tried to be happy, but oh. look at you in this horrible oh. room. <laughs> She's back. Yeah, that's a good girl. Yeah, yeah. She's all right, sorry, sorry. I'm glad Dr. Weston's finally getting some sleep. Excuse me, uh, I'm looking for Dr. Harry Weston. I got a note. It didn't say much, just that he was here. Yes, he is, but he can't be disturbed. Oh, I see. Oh, excuse me, one more thing. Um, can anyone get a sponge bath around here? <laughs> oh, my gosh, Harry. Look at you. How could this have happened? You must be in some sort of coma. <laughs> Harry, Harry, so much I have to tell you. All the years, all the terrible things I've done that you don't even know about. <laughs> the calls I've charged to your phone, <laughs> the clothing I borrowed and altered, <laughs> the day I stole your doctor's bag and opened up that free exam booth at the mall. You're a good friend, Harry. Better friend than I think I deserve. And if anything would happen... Ooh, candy striper. <laughs> How can I tell you? I'm sorry for these things. How can I tell you how much you mean to me? You're my best friend in the whole world, and if Charlie, what are you, what are you doing here? Harry, you're not in a coma. What? I must have talked you back into consciousness. I read about these things. <laughs> I saved your life. Hey! You owe me, buddy. Charlie, I think you maybe should go. I'm not supposed to have visitors, but there was too much stress. Oh, okay, fine. Hey, your heart monitor, is it supposed to be one flat line like that? What? <laughs> gotcha. Look at poor Dreyfus. He's waiting for Daddy to come home. No, he's not. He's looking at his food. <laughs> I just keep thinking Daddy's gonna walk through that door. It feels so weird here without him. I don't know if I can take this. It was only a few months ago I got healthy enough to stop visiting Mom's grave every week. Healthy enough? Carol, they asked you to stop. <laughs> you were bumming out the mourners. <laughs> if Daddy comes home healthy, I am going to stop dumping all my personal problems on him. And I'm not gonna go out as much. I'm gonna spend more time with him. And I'm gonna give both you girls massages with hand cream. <laughs> I could slip it by you. I fold. Uh, Good news, Dr. Weston. You did not have a heart attack. Oh, oh I see. Oh, Great. Oh, what you have is angina. What is that? 
Well, basically, it's a warning. You treat it correctly, and it's usually reversible. What is this, sand? <laughs> Doctor. Oh, anyway, Dr. Weston, your, your life's gonna have to go through some change. You're gonna have to go on a special diet. You're gonna have to cut down on your workload and avoid stress. Do that, you'll be okay. Don't, and you'll have that heart attack. Did uh, you hear that, Daddy? Thank you, Doctor. Daddy, you don't want to good, Daddy. <laughs> anyway, I figure as long as you're here, you might as well stay put, get some sleep, and uh, you leave in the morning. If you need me, just give me a call. Listen, why don't I just put a message in a bottle? <laughs> I'll see you in a few days. Barb, see you Saturday. <laughs> Excuse me. I just want to be clear on this. Our father is lying in the hospital, and that man had the nerve to ask you out? Yeah. And you agree? Barbara, how could you? I mean, he's so obviously self-serving, so self-indulgent, so callous. Barbara, he's my type. Daddy? Daddy, what are you doing? Didn't you hear what the doctor said? He said you need to stay here tonight. You need to rest. Honey, I think I know a little bit more about medicine than the big kahuna out there. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe you should come home. That way we can put you to bed, keep an eye on you, and nurse you back to health. Mm -hmm. uh, hello. Hi, Ray. Yeah, oh, thanks for asking. Oh, I'm absolutely great. A replacement? What? No, no, nothing's going to keep me from heading up the Pediatrics Commission. Come on. As a matter of fact, I can be at your place 20 minutes. We can start working on the first meeting. I'm on my way. All right. Daddy, didn't you hear what the doctor said? Yes, he said I didn't have a heart attack. Go, go. I got to get dressed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Got stuck in traffic. We're ready to start whenever you feel like it. Well, I feel like starting right now, and why are we whispering? Because one of us has had a heart problem. <laughs> and needs to avoid stress and excitement. Laverne, I treat a kid every now and again. I'm not exactly running with the bulls in Pamplona here. Come on, who's my first patient? No patience. I told you you need rest. I told you from now on Wednesday's your day off. And I told you there'd be no days off and we'd have a full patient load. Uh, didn't you hear me? No. <laughs> well, when exactly did you stop listening? About five years ago, right after you said you're hired. <laughs> Laverne, look, I know what you're trying to do, dear, but there's no need. My health is fine. I did not have a heart attack. Now I want to see patients in here. I want everything back to normal, please. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> what is that? A relaxation tape. Sunrise at Cape Cod. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more of this. <laughs> what is that? Barnyard sounds. Is that supposed to be relaxing? Well, it is to me. No use both of us getting a heart attack. <laughs> Where's all the food? All the cookies and all the chips? Barbara, we can't have that stuff here when Daddy's sick. It's terrible for the heart. It can kill you. I gave it all to Charlie. <laughs> Carol, this is crazy. Daddy is not a child. He knows how to take care of himself. Well, then why isn't he doing it? He's been out of the hospital for three days. He's not doing any of the things the doctor told him to. It's Saturday afternoon. The only reason Daddy's coming home is because Laverne found some ingenious way to cancel his meeting. Daddy, Hi. what are you doing home? Well, we have this big problem. Remember, you know, the building where we hold our commission meetings? Blew up this afternoon. <laughs> well, these things happen. Listen, as long as you're here, why don't you take off your coat, sit down and relax. I've prepared a nice, healthy meal. Uh, honey, dear, I'm sorry, I can't stay. Luckily, I was able to book another place for our meeting. I just have to, uh, I gotta get my files. Barbara, quick, hide his car keys. Carol, get a grip. The man's an adult. He knows what he's doing. Fine. I'll do it myself. But when he lives, I get all the credit. Right, bye, kids. I have my keys. I left my keys right here. Really? Oh, 
Oh, well, as long as you're stuck, you might as well have this nice, healthy meal we were talking Carol, about. Carol, honey, honey, I, I gotta get to this meeting. Otherwise, I would love to stay with you guys and eat dinner. I mean, this stuff smells... <laughs> I'll pick up something on the way home. Barbara, uh, dear, can I, can I borrow your car? No, you can't. Why not? It blew up. Here, Daddy. No! All right, all right, all right. Carol, I see what's going on here. It's gonna stop right now. I've been putting up with this with Laverne for two days. I will not stand for it in my own home. Daddy, I'll Carol, I don't want to hear it. I'm not some senile old man who has to be coddled and taken care of. I'm a doctor. I'm your father. And I will not allow this kind of interference in my life. You got that? Yes. I have the keys. Told you. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Boy, it's been a long time since I was here, huh? Must be almost three months now, I guess. I still think of you every day, though, Mom. And all the time I picture you sitting up there in heaven. I think heaven must be a different place for everybody. For you, there's probably lots of children and music. I'm kind of figuring on a place where men are searching for commitment. <laughs> and there's no competition because all the blondes have gone to hell. I guess you heard about Daddy, huh? That's mostly the reason I came by. I really need some advice, Mom. I need advice from someone who loves him as much as I do because I'm telling you, he is being a real jerk about all this. He is completely determined to ignore what happened to him. And Barbara thinks he's right. Although I don't know why anyone would listen to Barbara, who, for your information, now has two holes pierced in each ear. <laughs> and took her handcuffs with her on her last date. I'm not tattling, I just thought you should know. <laughs> he isn't right, is he, Mom? He is going to hurt himself. And I just don't know how to stop this from happening. I don't know how to get him to hear me. I mean, he looks at me and he still sees a little girl. I just thought... I just thought talking to you might give me the strength I'm going to need to fight him on this. He is stubborn and impossible and big-headed. But we'd still like to hold on to him a little while longer. Hey, would you mind keeping it down? You're really <laughs> bumming us out over here. <laughs> Right, right. Drive, right. drive. You really went out there. You must need water. Ah, uh, uh, I need a bottle of water, drive. I drive. There we go. Uh, Daddy. I... Uh, Daddy? Oh. oh my God! I'm getting the paramedics. No, 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 Barbara. Please, I'm fine. I'm fine, dear. It was a little back sprain. That's all. Put down the phone, baby. I don't believe you. Sweetheart, I would tell you. Come on. It's absolutely nothing here. What the hell are you doing? Damn you, Daddy. Barbara. I don't know who's a bigger idiot. You for pretending there's nothing wrong, or me for believing you. Honey, there's nothing wrong with picking things up. The doctor said, "Let's." Shut start. up, Daddy. Uh, shut up, Daddy. <laughs> What are you thinking? You're not immortal, you know? You keep that up and you're gonna die. Shut up, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, you could be dead right now, lying on the floor, but life would still be going on. Carol would come home from work and you would be dead. The neighbors would be watering their lawns, Daddy. People would be going to the movies. And I would still have to get up every morning. But the only difference would be that you would be dead. So fine. If that's what you want, there are some things I should tell you before you die. Oh, honey. No, no I want to get this off my chest. I know where you hide the Christmas presents, Daddy. <laughs> and remember when I was five? And you woke up from that nap, and, and a big chunk of hair was missing? That was me. 
I cut it off. And you know how I tell you I, I don't like Carol? Well, I really don't like Carol, Daddy. Come on, Swan. No, Come there's on. one more thing. I love you, Daddy. And I'm really gonna miss you. Come on, baby, let's wait now. Don't go. Hold on. Barbara, come on, sweetheart. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Maybe I made, uh, might have made a mistake. Yeah. Look, honey, I mean, I mean, last week at the hospital when they told me what had happened to me was a warning that I, that I had been given a chance to get well. I didn't really hear the chance part. Because in order to hear that, I would have had to also hear the you could die part. I wasn't ready for that. I don't know how you can be. Something just switches off in your brain, baby, and you just reject that any of that's possible. I know. Anyway, I guess what I'm just trying to say here is that you are right, baby. And you are a very brave, smart girl for telling your daddy, and I thank you for that, and I, I'm going to listen to you. And I'll start by resigning from the Pediatrics Commission. And what about the office? Well, I'll work a half a day on Wednesday. And every morning I'll spend a few hours with Laverne in her chicken coop. I love you. I love you. Okay. Okay, don't say a word. <laughs> this is how it's going to be. From now on, you are going to avoid stress, cut back on your workload, eat right, and resign from that commission. Done. Done? <laughs> yes, done. Thanks, Mom.